Here we are, another making of. I said, brother, what you making? Making of, or behind the scenes, you know. It's the whole thing about uh, the Instagram. We gotta make the Instagram. Get this thing out here first. Hey, but you know, as we usually do, I think I got the lighter right here this time. <laughs> Ta-da. Uh, get over a second. So we light the incense. Actually, I should, well, I'm going to be long. This is Sunday. I'm going to be long. I think I'm going to be long. I'm not sure. But uh, as usual, we got to light the incense. Got to put a little smoke in the air. Because a lot of smoke come in this one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I've been, uh, I usually try to stay in my lane as well. I've got, everything is political. My lane is everything. Plus, I'm an audio dramatist, so. We do a lot of research. Is that thing smoking right? Well, it's lit, but it's not smoking the way I think it should. So let me. Hey, I got a. Somebody sent me this. This this internet thing is kind of interesting. But somebody sent me something. He was sort of a. Well, you know, he asked me if I listened to, to BAI. You know, WBAI, where, uh, you know, one of my influences on my life. Uh, and so I answered him, I said, you know, when I walk in the morning, do I listen to BAI? And I said, no, I listen to mainly music, and the only other two things I listen to would be um, 5150, when they come on. And, um, and of course, every week I download Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. So, because, you know, today is Sunday, and we have our Sunday sermon where we uh, deal with the compensatory concept and so that's what I listen to when I'm walking on Sundays because Sunday is a long walk how long oh I'm glad you asked okay hold on a second let's just show you how long okay I think this is going to hit because you know as you know we I'm like I mean, I'm not a fire person. I'm a water sign, but I'm not a fire person. So, you know. But how you asked you asked the question? Good question. And I already took the the um, the airplane mode off, so I can go straight to the. Uh, well, let me put this on here first because uh, I'm gonna mess up here. Ah, ah. Came did my little walk. It was a more than a little walk, I guess. Let me see. Okay, let's go to what we usually do. How many steps did I take this morning? Now, you know, let me tell you again. Monday through Friday, I have a certain pattern. I walk and walk to the graveyard to the graveyard and come back. Okay, great. On Saturdays, I go a little further. I go to what I call the back of I go into Portsmouth. I mean, success to be not going to Portsmouth. Going to the, my favorite food line. Went to food line last night. Got the seeded grapes. You're the only people that got seeded grapes around here. I don't know what's going on with them. You know, I mean, with with seeded grapes. But I got seeded grapes. So when I'm finished this, and when I finish, oh, and I'm, I'll, I'll tell you that. Oh, let me do this other thing. So I got seeded grapes. I have seed. I'll have seeded grapes a little bit later with some other stuff. Got some. Uh, what do you call that? What do you call those people? Um, the uh, kiwi fruit. Right. And uh, also got some pomegranate and whatever. I put it all together and do something. I, of course, avocado. But here we go. How many steps did I count? This did I walk? Twenty-four thousand eight hundred sixty-three steps, which means I walk, walked, because Sunday is my long walk. I walked sixteen point six six kilometers or kilometers. I don't know how. I, I actually don't know what, what to say. Sixteen point six six. So I've got to go to the thing and find out where's my uh I gotta go this way I gotta go to so I put down 16 <sighs> come on 16 16 point 66 kilometers K I L O N E Kilometers, two miles. That, that they they start starting to catch up to me. I walked ten point 
352044 miles this morning on my morning walk, my Sunday morning walk. So, so how much that was? 8, 9, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 9, 1, 10. Okay, 1, that's all right. Okay, 6, 6, uh, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 12, 18, 19. Okay, same thing. Okay, great. Okay, so there you go. Walks 10 miles, 10 and the third miles. That's all right. Okay, I just posted something on Instagram, by the way. It's a uh, little remnants of, uh, of uh, Halloween, you know, I put that up there as a photo thing. I thought that was cute. Oh, let me move that. So that's ready. But, oh, I guess I can just go on now. Um, this is the day that I, I deal with Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., so that's what's going to be on the Instagram. Do I have here? But, you know, on Sundays, since I got a sense of Sunday sermon, you know, I, I, this is not the cap I use. I use another cap. This is a this is a, a newer version. Well, whatever. This is a newer version of my Ogun cap. In fact, my book on Ogun, they say it's supposed to arrive today. Uh, it's called... Uh, Africa's Ogun is a, is a book that has a lot of scholars writing about uh, Ogun, which is what this cap is about. You know, see, it's, it's green on one side, reverse it, it's black, and then you have a bit of red. That's that's the Santeria. That's as, as the urban culture came up to uh, North America through Cuba, became Santeria, and the colors are uh, green, black, with a bit of red. And... Uh, and, that, and I'm a child of Ogun, you know, which is why we're going to deal with what we deal with this morning. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. And, and I listened to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., so this is going to be really, really good. I, I post the thing later, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., I'll do that a little later. But when I do that, since this is Sunday sermon, I, here's what I've, I've got another thing. See, this is, this is wine. My current favorite wine, 19 Crimes, The Warden. This is a, a reserve. You always get a wine for you. If you're not a, if you're not a big, oh, well, look, look, if you're a regular old wino, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. But, you know, if you're a regular old wino, you know, you just get anything, whatever have you. But if you're a connoisseur, if you don't drink that much, like, you know, I, I haven't drank. With the, I finished this bottle last Wednesday or something. Not this bottle, but another bottle of the same brand wine. And uh, I did that. But I start on Sunday because Sunday, doing the ecumenical services or doing my services, I grew up Catholic, and you know, you know they be imbibing, you know. <laughs> oh, the brother said a big word, imbibing. So I, I do a little imbibing. So, oh, this thing is not doing like that. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, maybe this cork is not that great. Don't mess up, Court. Don't you mess me up. There we go. Come on out. Come on. Ah, see? Almost. Yes, I got to find, oh, I think I have a, a thing in there because it takes me like two or three days. Well, three, about three days to drink a bottle of what's, what's a 750 mil bottle of wine. I'm not a, I'm not a guzzler of, of stuff. I mean, you know, and I really don't go to parties like that anymore. So I don't be, man, but this thing is really trying to tell me not to drink this morning. Okay. Let's see? Of course, I just did it wrong. I should have just did another another um, kind of corkscrew, one of those modern ones. Instead of this, uh, this is what waiters use in uh fancy restaurants. Oh, come on now. This thing is not going in here right now. Okay. Well, hey. There's got to be a way for me to do this better. But anyway, well, I struggle with this and blow the thing off. Let me tell you what's going on. As a child, let me tell you what happened. See, people get confused because, like, Ogun is the, is the it's, it's like the architect, too. You see, you know, you have um, Shango is like the general, you know, when you have a fight the, you know, the generals deploying the troops on what they were doing. But Shango is the one that does all that. But if you're going to do 
a real Ogun thing. Ogun is like a, he's the architect, you know, he puts things together, that, that kind of thing, in a, in a studied way, you know. You don't call on Ogun unless you're ready to get down, because Ogun be studying how the plans and the tactics and stuff like that. And if you're not ready to get down, you shouldn't be calling Ogun. So that's what that's all about. I mean, it's like a leg, but you know, you, you're you not supposed to whistle. You're not supposed to whistle. Because when you whistle, whistling, you're calling a leg. And if a leg, if a leg would come down and, and you're whistling for no good reason, they'd be going, why am I here? It cause, cause all sorts of chaos, you know. So you got to watch, you got to watch certain things in the pantheon of ideas. Okay, now, ah, woo, that was a chore. I got to find me another thing to let it breathe. But the reason why I do that is because, first of all, I like this wine. And like I said, my ritual right now, da, 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 da. it's my wine glass. My ritual right now is to uh, start to drink a little bit on Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, see? And then Tuesday night, or Tuesday is when I do the, um, when I'm doing the, um, what do you call that? Um, the Yaki Protocol fast. Everything sort of works together. My life is one big work and everything working out together, right? Oh, there's a little corks thing down there. I guess I may be drinking some cork now. Oh, well. Ah, but this wine is so good. Okay, so that's happening there. Are we ready? Are we ready? I guess we're almost ready. We're ready. Okay. Oof. Put some glasses on. Oh, these are my other glasses. Come to Papa. Let's see. If I put out in the sun long enough, they'll get dark. This is those photosensitive glasses I got from the VA. Hey, okay, great. Okay, we're ready? We're ready. I think we're ready. Everything is up. Let me put the lighter back where it belongs. Okay, here we go. Setting this thing ready. Moving this stuff around. Okay, here we go. Where's my Instagram? Says my Instagram. Uh, uh, live. There we go. There we go. Ready for liftoff. Ta, 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 ta. Imbibing this morning. Oh, I mean, that's, let, me tell you, let me tell you what's going on behind the scenes. Is there's a behind the scenes, and then there's a, oh, hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Put my hat on right. Well, maybe not. I'll leave it the way it is. What the heck? I'm not really a fashionista. Oh, this is an interesting style. It's a kind of new kind of warrior. Uh, okay, we're going. Okay, look, 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 look. sorry, 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 sorry. So here we go with the, the, the little Instagram. You know, let me tell you what's going on, right? There's some events that's been happening, right? In terms of uh, 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 the basketball player, Kyrie. What's Kyrie's last name? Kyrie, whatever his name is. Everybody calls him Kyrie. So I call him Kyrie, right? And here's the thing. Here's what's so funny to me. Everything, everybody reacts to certain things. And when you react, I call you, I call you into their backwash, Basically, you know, you reacting to that thing and then, you know, they, they've started, they perpetrated something and then you react to it. So you, you end up in their little hamster willy, their, their, their backwash, but I call it backwash. Okay, which is all right. But here's my thing. If I, were I, okay, look, here's the thing. When I do stuff, right, I do stuff and I don't believe that I'm the only one thinking this or I'm the only one doing this, right? What really is happening, I said, I put it out into the ether. I put it out there into the world. Whoever I put it out there in the world and the world picks it up or not, some people understand it or not. I've been in many situations with the exact thing I'm thinking, the exact thing that's that's happening. You know, I had even a, even a whole lecture. Well, I won't get into that. But the point is, you never can tell uh, what's on a person's mind, right? You can only control your own kind of thing. Okay, so here's the thing: as an elder. As an as a elder, as a boomer elder, let me put it that way. 
<laughs> I have some advice. You don't have to take my advice. I wouldn't. You, people, look, kids, after, after nine years old, nobody listens to anybody, right? But we're, uh, we're Kyrie and them to listen to me, right? No, not listen to me. Let me go back. Let me say something else. Okay. When, um, when I was, uh, how do you say, uh, when I was arts director for WBAI, what I would do is, is I would set up safe spaces and whatever happened, have people do it, do whatever they do. You know what I mean? As long as they wasn't harming anybody, whatever it is, violating any codes, you know, whatever it is, then, it, then it's fine, right? Then everything was all right. Okay. Then what happens is you have people that's always going to abuse the situation, right? They're going to, you know, for whatever reason, they think that they know better or they're going to abuse. They go, they see an op, they become opportunistic in whatever it is, right? Now, me, as a as a child of Ogun, as a as a warrior, as a as a fighter, I'm not going to wage the same kind of war that other people wage because I've seen the results of this and that and whatever it is, right? So what I've done is I look at something like a, uh, let me put this. When I was, let me go back. When I was the BA arts director, right? One of the things I did was I, I, I brought on. Um, I there was a there was a guy named Jace Movies. Has did the longest running hip hop radio program ever. I guess you know what I mean. Uh, I'm the one that actually trained him in radio, but put it on the air. So I'm like an asterisk in, in hip hop culture. Let's put it that way. And a real asterisk. Nobody knows who I am. Don't worry about that part. Okay. But here's the thing. That's really quite interesting to me, right? Is that when that when when because it was, it was uh, Jay Smooth created his crew in the Underground Railroad. I was the first. I was actually his first executive producer, but I don't give no credit for that. I just I'm back, right? But in this in this scenario, right? What happened is uh, really a lot of early hip hoppers came through that program because it was the only hip hop program around you know so you know all, all the big names that you would know they all came through we even we even did that one one program we did a special and i'm i think smooth doesn't have the tape whatever it is and where we did the history of hip-hop we had the we had a lawyer from Def Grab. she she came and did this whole special it was the whole whole thing it was really great great program but alas no tape <laughs> i don't know what happened i wasn't in charge of that thing i guess i should have been so it's not my fault um but but, uh, but one of the things that always concerned me about that, because remember, we was under FCC, whatever we had, we couldn't curse. And all these young rappers, all they want to do is come on and curse, right? And I would have to go and say, look, we're a broadcast station, you know what I mean? There are rules, you can't curse, right? So that was my whole thing. I'm always fighting these people with that, okay, for whatever reason, right? Okay, so that passes and, and things be become fair. But one of the things I always would say, look, if, if, if these kids, I'm calling them kids, um, was concerned, you know, which they were, and they just do what they wanted to do. What they would do, if you, if you have your little grouping, right? And then you come, you, you get your crew. They used to call them crews right then, right? Okay. Now, if you grew up with this crew and this is who you trust, then how come you couldn't send one of your crew to law school, another crew to, you know, to ain't to history, to, to paleontology or something like the anthropology another some somebody else goes to become a, a, a doctor your crew instead of they all just coming and drinking and partying and throwing bottles or whatever have you just have them do that look even if it, michael jackson because he couldn't go to school the way he went to school right he had hired one of the best uh uh, uh artists in the world to teach him how to do art you know what i mean so you have all this money instead of throwing it around and think, well uh, i'm not telling you how you spend your money but you could also you know, use your crew to hire, to, 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 to educate them and get some sense, you know. Somebody study civics, somebody study history, whatever it is, you know. So your crew, as big as it gets, everybody should have a purpose. Okay? Great. Now, now, here's the thing. Now in the age of internet, I guess you don't need to do all that because, well, actually you should because you need somebody to get you out of jail because you all you all ain't thinking, right? You need an elder that that that, that has your interest in heart without diminishing or, or put, putting, how you say, values on what you're doing, right? So now I'm going to speak as an elder to um, to Kyrie and people like that. Look, I know they they, they have you bending it. You got to pay like half a million dollars to some organization because you they think you offended that group, not that organization, but the, the group that they speak for, they like they speak for the whole group. I don't know how to do it. Whatever the situation is, okay? 
I understand that. I guess I understand. So you got to pay half a million to that. That's kind of interesting. Let me give you another idea. Even as you pay a half a million to that, and then, then you're supposed to go visit their museum or something like that. I don't know. Whatever you're, whatever you're going to. Well, I got a museum for you to visit. Here's what you do. You take your crew. There's there's the American Indian Museum. I guess they moved. There used to be 155th Street and, and Broadway. I guess out in, in New York. I don't know where it is now. There must be something in D.C. because D.C. has all the museums. You know, you could you could take you could take crew and, and do that, right? You could take a crew. Talk about museums. Hey, you could if, if they get you got to go some some foreign land. You know, go overseas to go someplace. As you take take a, a, a only return trip or even before you go, you can stop by Gory Island. Gory Island has an interesting, you have the door and no return, but about, a, um, about a, a quarter of a mile up the thing, the, the whole island, there's, there's a whole, um, I think it's like 12 um, areas, but they show you the whole history of, of slavery, you know, of uh, our Holocaust, right? Let me put it that way, Not like that. So you can visit that even as you visit somebody else's Holocaust, right? right now? But here's the thing. If I were you, since you really didn't do nothing wrong, and you got this money, right, I would go and I would buy this book here. You can't read this backwards right now, but it's the Comp United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. This is this is the book I use every Sunday. It's my scripture. I use this as scripture. No, we, every day I, I do read the, out of, the, out of the, uh, the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah Bible, but that's something different. But my real scripture is Mr. Lee Fuller Jr.'s book. Now, this is the, the 2016 edition, right? Now, I would buy a bunch of these. When I say a bunch, a whole crate. You know, you know how you know how athletes they they give stuff to their teammates, whatever. Have you. I buy, you know, we're, 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 I, he's basketball. How many people is 11, 12? I don't know how many. How many people on your basketball team? I'm thinking football. They got like fifty two, whatever it is. You buy a whole crate, whatever have you, and you give it out all to, to all your teammates. Boom, 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 boom. You give it out to the to the press. You say, okay, we are having a press conference, right? Now, since you all want to talk about stuff other than basketball, let us, I want, to be, anybody has a question, first you got to read this, you got to read portions of this book, right? And then we, we can we, we can engage, right? And then here's what you do. Now, remember, this is the this is the main book, but Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has another book, it's called A Word Guy, right? So that, you send a word guy to somebody like Stephen A. Smith who, who comes to come down on you, or even uh, Shannon Sharp came down on you. All these people that come down, you say, give them the word guy. Say, hey, Stephen, you into words? Give them Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book, The Word Guy. Say, you look through this one, right? And then every time you visit a, another, you go to play basketball in another city, you take the you take, you gift the books to the whole team of that city, including management. You see, so here's what you're doing: supporting Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. book, Jr. book, his code book, code book everybody talks about, but nobody, a lot of people they they talk about Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s code, but they don't really have the book. So you have that, and you're giving this out, right? So even as you're making contrition to some group that say they speak for a religion, I don't know what that's about. You know, well, I guess they're speaking for a culture. I don't know what the deal is. Then you have your own culture you can speak for. And you handy, and now you, you're helping Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. by buying his book. And you can get it at producejustice.com, by the way. You're buying his book, and you and, and the, the word guy you give to certain people. And there you go. Bob's your uncle, like they say in South Africa and England and all the rest of this stuff. So just think about that. Oh, man. Do I like this like this? Anyway, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta do stuff, right? Namely, I gotta, I gotta do my Sunday sermon like that. So just, just letting you know, uh, you rappers and you athletes, when they come down on you, they try to make you make contrition for something. You make them make contrition for what you need to be contrite. Contr they, they need to be contrite about. Someone contrite is that how you say it? I don't know. Whatever. See, you got it. Got the strategy. Okay. Thought I let you know. All right. Yo, take care. See you soon. Soon like tomorrow. Okay, so that's done. Oh boy. Oh boy. What the brother done wrought. Oh, let's see. Let's see how I do with this. Take a little sip of my uh the warden. We all in, as Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. says, hey, we all in we all in, in greater confinement. We all in jail. And the warden, I'm have, I'm I'm taking something from the warden. <laughs> Oh, Sunday. Oh, I like this one. Uh, okay, share. Right? Uh, the brother, the brother advises, 
A D V I S E advises. No, gives it. Let me say gives advice. Gives. Oh man. Gives. Uh, gives. Advice. A D V I. Gives advice. Let's just stop it there. No, no. I could. The brother gives advice. I go. To. The celebrities, yeah, the celebrities, C-E-L-E-B-R-A-T-I-E-S, celebrities, I spell celebrities, D-R-T-I-E-S. I guess that's right. C E L E B. I don't think I'm spelling this right. Well, let me leave it alone. <sighs> Put it like that. Western branch. Oh, yeah. They tell me I spelled it wrong there. Oh, celebrity. C L E B R I. What about the A in there? Celebrities. Don't you love spell check? Oh, well. Wow. Um, add to series. Oh. I think I'm going to put this under ADOS. Current ADOS strategies. This is a strategy. Using, use, use, hey, you know, Miss Neely Fuller Jr.'s book becomes a shield, a weapon. That's what's interesting about it. This book now becomes a weapon, right? We weaponize. <laughs> we weaponize a book. Whoa. <laughs> Let them argue about that. Then they, then they, then woof. Oh boy. Share. Share. Okay, so that's going up, and I've got to, this is the making of, so that's got to go up, and i put some more stuff in there. Oh, but oh joy, this is going to be, oh, hey look, it's an Ogun thing, you have to understand. <laughs> I'll check you all later, I've got to do some stuff today. In fact, I might, no, I'm going to do that tomorrow. All right, talk to you later, bye.